The Morrison Reef Science Center um, is, you know, state of the art. Uh, it it uh, is very motivating for current students and future students, and what it allows just gives you uh, multiple opportunities uh, in the classroom, in the laboratory, um, to truly pursue your passion, um, whatever it whatever it may be. I think some of the best features for students is that we have lots of open space, common space, where they actually sit and study between classes and congregate between classes much more so than they could in the old building. With uh, seating right outside your office, you can see them as you walk in and out of your office, see students studying, and if they have a question, they can ask you. And Yeah, I can see just in three weeks there's lot, going to be a lot more interaction between the faculty in the building and the students in the building. The, just the aesthetics of the, of the building, uh, very open, very receptive to uh, when people come in. The, I've already seen many students utilizing the, uh, the space available for them, both studying and just in casual uh, situations. Uh, I, a comment I made uh, just yesterday to a colleague was, uh, it's, it's very much like a mall. It's, it's like a very large open concept. The students are used to those kind of, of situations, those kind of environments, so I think uh, that they feel very much at home. And I see more and more students already, it's only the fourth week, and I see more and more students already utilizing uh, the space. As Richard Feynman used to say, the principle of science is the following. The test of all knowledge is experiment. Experiment is the sole judge of scientific truth. The new science a building provides many excellent laboratory spaces in which students can pursue scientific truths. And so that's how the Science Center helps me pursue my passion by helping students pursue scientific truths. In the previous building, the biology department was limited to two, two lab spaces. And so each lab had to be completed and torn down before the next lab began in the same room with additional lab spaces, we have some flexibility, we can set up and maintain some longer term project labs um, that we couldn't do previously. Additionally, we have the independent student research labs both for biology and chemistry and so uh, rather than having to carve out a small corner of a room for a student project, we have dedicated spaces that will allow that uh, to happen much more easily and much more nicely than previously. My probably favorite feature is the greenhouse only because the plant kingdom is my favorite kingdom. And so that I finally have the ability to grow plants, to use them both for research and for lab, and a place where students um, can use that also for classroom and for research. Thinking about physics in particular, all of our uh, seniors do senior projects. In the old building, we were fighting for space constantly. What we have done is designated a specific room, about a thousand square feet, where our seniors can do their uh, senior uh, projects, and we also have two other rooms that, we, that are available uh, that they can do research. Those are actually common research areas that both the students and faculty can use. So for us, uh, it it's really helps in, in terms of getting our senior projects done. Senior projects in the physics department have been done for 30 years. So uh, it's something that's very unique and very special for the uh, physics department. The greatest pleasure was walking into this lab and saying, no longer do I need to tear down an experiment immediately after setting it up. <laughs> uh, no longer do I need to tear down an experiment uh, three hours after setting it up. I can leave it up for a longer period of time so that it makes uh, investigations by students easier. I think for a psychology majors, one of the things about having the psychology department now here, visible on the second floor, is going to give our students a sense of home that maybe they've never really felt before and maybe a sense of belonging because now we have our own psychology classroom which we've never had. Um, we also have another classroom that we share with physics. So I think it's going to help our majors feel more involved with their major and um, I also think that it's going to enhance their engagement in the classroom because we have the advanced technology, we have more space, classroom space, more lab space. So I think students are really going to benefit. 
One of my other favorite features of the Science Center is our new observation room. Our observation room has a two-way mirror, which allows us to view what's happening in the observation room without the individuals in the observation room knowing that we're watching them. And well, this allows us to eavesdrop on two students who are having a conversation. <laughs> yes. And now we have a lot more room for students to study and be comfortable and just hang out and enjoy the science center. Exactly. You know, I kind of feel like I've noticed more than just science students in the building. Yeah. We have, you know, some education students who have been hanging out here, mm -hmm. so it's really a nice place for not just the science students to yeah. congregate, but all the students at Hastings College, which is really great. Yeah. And I think it does encourage creativity with all the neat little aspects and um, also just being green. So. Well, in, in our different um, branches of bi biology, such as in college, you know, we're looking at um, different ecological principles of, you know, pollution, um, different, you know, different things like that. And I think having a science building um, really encourage uh, going green. I think that just kind of uh, shows as uh, this, the science department um, is kind of serving as a pioneer on campus for um, kind of this, this green revolution going around. And that's something to be proud of. Students are, are concerned about the environment, and since the building is green, that lends itself uh, for both, for all of us, the students and the faculty, to talk about these environmental concerns and how the building uh, plays into those concerns. I think it's a great commitment from the college. I think it's great to show students that we have a commitment for um, trying to be more respectful of the earth and more respectful of resources, and I think it fits nicely with science. This, this, this science center was meant for the students, and it's not, not faculty focused. This is a science center to help students learn science. Well, I just walked in, and it was just, um, first the place, the place was just huge, you know, compared to our old science building, uh, this place just was just wide open with tons of classrooms, uh, student, student lounge areas, um, uh, laboratories. It was just, uh, um, just kind of like a, just like the, just a, a temple to uh, the learning science, basically, was what it looked like when I first came in. Thank you.